Hi, this is Ria. This is Paramedical Genesis. Today we have to learn about the complete IV anesthetic drug. It's called ketamine. So ketamine is the only drug it have a property of analgesia, amnesia and muscle relaxant effect. So before start the video, let's intro. Ketamine was first synthesized by Dr. Kelvin Stevens in 1962 and 1967 it was clinically used by Carson and Domino. It was a history of the ketamine. The water was the chemical property of the ketamine is under the group of benzacline derivatives. And the chemical name of the ketamine is 2-glorophenyl-2-methyl-aminohexone. It's available in 50 mg per ml multi-dose vial. As is available present in the multi-dose vial, it have a preservative. That preservative's name is benzodium chloride. Normally, the ketamine have a racemic mixture, both R enantiomer and S enantiomer. We have separately preparation of S enantiomer ketamine. It's a more advanced potent ketamine. It have a less emergent reactions and rapid metabolism and increased analgesia effect. In the preservative free essence ketamine also used in central neuroxin analgesia like epidural and spinal anesthesia. It ketamine have a unique property to produce dissociative anesthesia. That means ketamine will dissociate thalamus from limbic system. So it's produced the cataleptic unconscious state with profound analgesia. That means a patient with the analgesia effect and amnesia effect, but the patient is remain consciousness. That effect is called dissociative anesthesia the, the eye was remain in nystagmus state that means blinking nature and respiration was a fully spontaneous preserved respiration is occurs in dissociative anesthesia now the dosage of ketamine is 2 mg per kg iv it's also used in im in 5 to 10 mg per kg the mechanism of action of ketamine is it's an antagonist of NMDA receptors that means n methyl d aspartate receptors antagonist and it also acts on opioid receptor monoaminogenic receptor and muscarnic receptors so that is the mechanism of the mechanism of the action of the ketamine so that, now we have to learn about the pharmacokinetics of the ketamine the onset of the ketamine is 30 to 60 minutes and the duration will 50 to 20 minutes mm -hmm. ketamine was metabolized in liver to produce the nor ketamine and hydroxy nor ketamine it's one third of potent mm -hmm. as normal conventional ketamine mm -hmm. and it excreted via urine that was the pharmacokinetics mm -hmm. the systemic effect of ketamine in central nervous system it's produced dissociative anesthesia already we know that the thalamus is dissociated from the limbic system and the emergence reaction like vivid dreaming confusions illusions and floating fields that like of the field will produce the uh, central nervous system and it's also increased in intracranial tension and cerebral metabolic rate cerebral blood flow and also increased all in all pressure in the uh, central nervous system so it's contraindicated in neurosurgical patients and head to injury patients it's produced the hallucination, hallucination, both visual and audio hallucination. It have a produced analgesia effect. The only drug induction agents have an analgesia effect property is only is ketamine in sub anesthetic dose also. In cardiovascular system, it sympathetic, it stimulates the sympathetic system. So it increases the heart rate and BP and it's a can shock patient already we last video i have one question about who, what is the drug choice for shock patient the ketamine was the drug choice for uh, drug choice for shock patients because it stimulate the sympathetic system and it increase the myocardial o2 demand so it's contraindication in ischemic heart disease patient so because of in ischemic heart disease we have a demand and supply mismatching so in ketamine it increases the myocardial O2 demand so it contraindicated in ischemic heart disease patient in respiratory system it have a potent bronchodilator effect potent bronchodilator effect and it have an increased secretion so it used with anticholinergic drugs like atrophin and glycopyrrolate the reflex of the gel 
and pharyngeal reflex are well preserved by using ketamine. So it used in full stomach patients and RSI to prevent a pulmonary aspiration. And in I it increased the intraocular tension and nystagmus. So it increased the intraocular tension, it's contraindicated in glaucoma patients. It in GIT increased the intra-abdominal pressure. In muscle, it increased the muscle tone and non-purposeable movement to produce the non-purposeable movement. So this was the a systemic effect of the ketamine. Now we see the advantage of ketamine. Ketamine is induction agent choice for status asthmatic patient, shock and low cardiac output state and cyanotic heart disease patient because ketamine have a potent bronchodilator effect already we, in, uh, we know that the systemic effect in the respiratory system they have a potent bronchodilator effect so it's used in uh, status asthmatic patient and it have a use in shock patient because it stimulates the sympathetic response the only drug that stimulates the sympathetic response so ketamine also used in shock patient and low cardiac output status like cardiac tamponade and pericarditis status and it also used in cyanotic heart disease patient the induction agent choice for cyanotic heart disease patient like tetralogy of valid right to left sent patients also used it the sole agent of burns dressing and ind in burns dressing and ind the small procedure you have need of analgesia you have to use it as a ketamine it's also used in nora the non-operating room analgesia because ketamine is a well preserved respiration vitamin have a well preserved respiration whenever it is used in the ketamine the respiration is not changed not affected so ketamine also used in nora like uh, mri rooms non-operating room anesthesia the disorder age of ketamine the main disorder age of ketamine is hallucination both audio and visual hallucination it's a main disorder age you have to prevent the hallucination by using with benzodiazepines like midazolam diazepam like a drugs and it have increased all pressure like intraocular tension and intragastric tension intracranial tension and blood pressure also increased so it's a major disorder age of the ketamine and it's also increased in secretion due to increase the secretion the risk of laryngospasm bronchospasm high risk is that so we have to prevent the increased secretion we have to use the anticholinergic drug like atropine and glycopyrrolate the contraindication of the ketamine is it's not used in induced patient because it's increased the intracranial tension it's also contraindicated in ocular surgery because it increased the intraoptic intraocular tension it's also in heart disease it increased the myocardial OT demand so it's contraindicated in ischemic heart disease patient because in ischemic heart disease we have a, a demand supply mismatching is that because it increases the O2 demand so it's contraindication in ischemic heart disease patient the high chance of MA is occur in valvular or aneurysm or hypertension patient it's also contraindication because of increased BP it is also contraindicated in hyperthyroid patient and phenogromocytoma patient hope hope this video will very clear learn about the complete IV anesthetic agent ketamine I will meet the another video as soon as possible until signing of Jerry Askan this is paramedical dances